let's talk about MetaBase models. Models are derived data sources that are built directly in MetaBase that present data in a form that might be more convenient or intuitive for asking questions compared to your raw database tables. Let's look at an example. Let's say I have uh, customer survey results like this feedback table in the sample database. To put the survey results in context, I'd want to see not just the feedback itself, but how it depends on customer attributes. Here's an example of a report I might want to build about the survey. It includes stuff like how the rating varies with customer plan, uh, where in their journey people are when they fill the survey, or whether high paying customers mention certain features more often. To build a report like this, I'd need the feedback data like rating, but also the data about the account, and payments, and maybe even some bespoke business logic like determining whether the account is high value or what is the age of the account. But in reality, customer data and payment data and survey data probably come from different tools, so they probably live in separate tables in the database. So to build a report, I'd have to join all the tables, uh, write some custom logic over and over and over again for every single chart. And I can go back and forth with my data team and ask them to build out new views in the database that I could use as a data source. But because I know the data better than my data engineering team, I'd like to just build this data source within MetaBase myself and reuse it for my report. And that's exactly what MetaBase models allow you to do. To make a model, you just click on New Model and use the Query Builder, or SQL if you want, just like you'd use it to build a question. Here's a model I created to analyze the survey results. It uh, pulls the data about the invoices, account, and feedback together, looks at the account's average payment, and based on that, whether a customer is high paying or not, also has columns that determine whether or not feedback mentions some features, and how old the account was when it received the survey. Check out our video on custom columns for more info on all that. So I built out the definition of this model exactly the same way as I would build a question. Because a model is intended as a data source, it doesn't come with a visualization. You'll build them on top of the model, but I can preview the contents of the model in this window below. Here are my custom columns, and I see data from three tables. This question is pretty complicated, but I do this prep work once, and then I can reuse this model as a source to ask any questions I can think of about my survey results. So let's save this model and start a new question where I use this model as a source, just like I'd use a table. For example, I can ask for average rating by plan. Remember, originally those lived in different tables. But now I just use my survey results model as a source and all I need is to add a summary and I can make a chart. Or I start with survey results and ask for the number of feature mentions for high value accounts. And this is using the custom logic I added to determine whether our account is high value, but it's already incorporated into the model. So I just reuse it. So I use this model just like I'd use a table to build new questions. But if you know your way around MetaBase, you might ask, why use models instead of saved questions? And there are two reasons, metadata and model persistence. First, metadata. When you're working with a table, MetaBase decides what charts or filters are appropriate based on the information it has about the table, uh, like data types and values in columns. When you add a new column, like I did in my model, or when you use SQL to build a model, MetaBase does not have this additional information about types. For example, let's take this mentions account value question and save it to a dashboard. There is a Boolean column that mentions smell, and let's say I wanted to connect a dashboard filter to it. Uh, check out the video on dashboard filters for more info on how to do that. If I try to add a category filter, my mention smell column doesn't pop up as an option. And that's because MetaBase doesn't know that this custom column that I defined is a categorical column. But I can add this information to the model. So back in my model, I click on three dots, select Edit Metadata, and add the information about the field, like uh, the description and type category. 
Now if I try to connect a category dashboard filter to this question, I'll be able to connect it to that field. And another reason to use models is model persistence. Tables live in your database, but questions don't. When you ask a question, Metabase sends a query to your database, so every time you use a saved question, the database will have to do the computation to produce the result of that question. If you try to build a dashboard reusing a saved question a lot, this can degrade performance pretty quickly. With models, admins can enable model persistence, where the results of the model will be saved in a special schema in the database. So your database will not need to recompute the results every time that you reuse the model. Make a model somewhere in between real tables and saved questions. So to recap, models are derived reusable data sources that anyone can build inside Metabase. You build them just like you'd build a question and you use them just like you'd use a table. And you can add metadata to your models to support filters and charts and admins can use model persistence to store results in the database.